Hello, friends! I'm so excited to see you! We are going to start doing some art with chickens. I'm going to talk about our color wheel. Very easy steps. If you have any questions, you can always email me. Um, all of us specials teams, we are looking for pictures. If you look on our website, there's a place you can drop your pictures um, with your artwork or books or if you've dressed up for performing arts or pictures of you um, doing any physical activity outside. Um, and, oh, here's one of my chickens right here. This is St. Patty. He is one of our first ones, and we also have Lucky right here, so we're going to get started. Okay, so first of all, this is the project that we are going to be working on. It is the color wheel. The color wheel is going to have the 12 basic colors of red, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, green, blue, blue, violet, violet, and red violet. So the way that this is gonna work is that, bless you. Oh yes, I have a chicken wrangler here, my son Julian. Hello. He is going to be helping me with the chickens because they like to poop a lot. Chickens are like babies. They eat, sleep, and poop a lot. So he's helping me um, keeping them corralled and cleaning up any poop that might happen. So this is what you're gonna do, the project, the final project. You can use a big piece of paper or a small piece of paper. It is entirely your choice. You can use a cookie cutter. That is what I use to make these. I used a cookie cutter, but by all means, if you do not want to use a cookie cutter, you can always get you a scrap piece of paper and cut out a shape and just draw the shape 12 times. Now on this one, I did like the original picture and I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I traced it first with pencil. So traced it first with pencil. And then you're going to outline it with a black marker. It does not have to be a Sharpie. Then you're going to go in and after you've traced your shapes, you're going to go in and you are going to erase all those pencil marks. Okay, because we want it to be nice and clean so after you've erased all your pencil marks with this one I went like this it was a smaller cookie cutter and I went one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then I traced them with the marker okay so when we're coloring, you can use markers to color, you can use pencils to color, you can use um, crayons to color. It's your choice on um, how you want to color, but you definitely want to outline with a Sharpie first, or I'm sorry, a black marker first, and then go back, right here, go back and erase your marking. So I'm going to go ahead and finish outlining. So Julian, would you like to tell them a little bit about one of our chickens? Um, yes. So let's talk about, if I can get him, let's talk about um, St. Patty here. Um, something happened on um, St. Patty's Day, so that's why we call him St. Patty. And he, we think that he is a rooster, but we cannot tell because it's too young to tell. And as you can see, we think he might be a rooster because of his comb that's on his head, and that's <laughs> he wants to go where the box is. Um, the comb is the top part of his uh, head. Not head. all chickens have it. Um, some of them are bigger than others. Somebody said that if it's really big and pronounced, it can be a rooster. Um, like, is this one hedgehog? Yes, or no? this is hedgehog. He doesn't have a comb right there on the top. It's hedgehog or hedgy, we usually call him. But he is, is he a cross breed? Or? Yes, he is a red cross. What red cross means is that he was bred with a Rhode Island red. red. And another type of chicken that we have no idea from. So that means they um, had an egg. To, the, um, the boy, the girl laid an egg. So... Basically, and so let me let me get so um, Hetchy and um uh, Blueberry 
That's they blueberry and that's hedgy. These are basically cousins and um, these are cousins of the two mixed. And then this is one of them that made them. This guy, um, Lucky, we, we might, he might be a rooster because of the comb on his head. Maybe. Yeah. Who knows? So Lucky is a Rhode Island Red. And Blue likes to sit on me a lot. Yeah. So a lot of the birds I have mean, been... Blueberry. Blueberry. Um, a lot of the chickens me. have been learning to sit on on our hands. So I want to talk to y'all about um, how to color. So when you're coloring with the color wheel, we have our red, red, orange, and orange. And we have our orange and our yellow. Between orange and yellow is yellow orange so i'm going to show you how to make these other colors so what you want to do is because um so again it's red red orange orange yellow orange and yellow so yellow will go here also it's okay he's just sitting on you so i'm coloring two that are very similar So this one's going to be yellow orange. Just move it. Okay. Sorry, my my chicken wrangler had to clean up. So you might see some um, shavings that are being kicked in. That's because the chickens are pecking away. So this one's going to be my um, yellow orange. So I put yellow down first. And then I put orange on top. And the reason why I put yellow down first is because yellow is the lighter color. So I definitely want to make sure my yellow is on there and not lost. And it's a lot easier to do this with crayons and colored pencils than markers. Markers might be a bit tricky, so I'd probably stick with colored pencils and... We just had a flutter. Uh, he no, he's okay. He just fluttered, or she. she or he. Mm -hmm. yeah. So as you can see, I'm just layering the colors on top to get that yellow orange that I'm looking for. Just like this. Well, hello, St. Patty. Oh, God. Hello, St. Patty. So then this one's going to be my yellow, just my straight yellow one, because it goes red, red, orange, orange. Yellow, orange, and yellow. Now the next one's going to be yellow, green. So what color am I going to put down first? Do you remember? I am going to put down my yellow first. Because this one is yellow, green. So I'm going to put my yellow down. And if you notice, I'll show you on the back how I'm coloring. I am not coloring like this. I'm actually coloring in a circular motion because when you color in a circular motion, you don't see your lines. So here I go, I'm coloring circular motion, my yellow. And then I'm going to go back over it with my green to make a yellow green very, very lightly. Oh, I got outside the lines. No big deal. See, Miss Gordon even makes mistakes. And then I'm coloring. Then I'm going to go back over this with yellow to make sure it is indeed a yellow green. And then you just keep going. Just like this, all the way until you're finished. Now remember, I always say, this is your artwork. You can do it however you want. So you can connect these any way you want. And you don't have to start at the top or the bottom with your red all the way to the end. If you wanted to start here with red, you could start here with red. It's entirely up to you how you want your design to look. So again... I hope that you enjoy making your cookie cutter color wheel. And we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Cheep, cheep.